Hi everyone and welcome to my indie review blog, the show that gives you spoiler-free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from my indie productions and today I'm going to be reviewing 2010's drama fantasy horror, The Museum of Wonders, directed by renowned Italian extreme filmmaker Domiziano Cristofaro. In episode 2 we review Domiziano's Red Crocodile, so thank you Domiziano for sharing yet another film with us. Salome is a gorgeous woman and performer in a circus of visually unique people, or what some might call freaks. Portrayed by Valentina Mio, Salome is also the love interest of Marcel the Dwarf, the circus owner, played by Fabiano Lioi. Sadly, Salome's beauty is only skin deep, as she's revealed as a malicious vixen who exploits Marcel's infatuation with her. She frequently persuades him to give her money as she fools around behind his back with the performer strongman Sansoni, portrayed by Francesco Venditti. Salome steals Marcel from his fiancée, Olympia, played by Adele Tirante, as she plans to marry Marcel herself once she hears he recently inherited a great fortune. Throughout the film, there's a certain sense of irony, as Salome truly is a very beautiful woman, as opposed to the other performers. On the inside, however, she is very ugly, while most of the other performers are kind-hearted and very loyal to one another. Domiziano interestingly chose to sometimes deviate from the narrative in order to introduce various characters, or to tell us more about characters that have already been introduced. Kind of a house tour for the viewer within the Museum of Wonders. He also wisely incorporated scenes that give visual representation of subtext, and even within those scenes we may find deeper meanings. The film is visually astounding, giving homage to Georges Méliès' A Trip to the Moon and the cinema's silent era. It seems that a tremendous amount of work went into set designs and costume and makeup and practical effects. Uh, a great deal of attention went into framing and lighting and composition. Almost every shot looks like a painting. Also, the soundtrack is captivating and has a presence of its own. The Museum of Wonders has many layers to it. It uses a more formalistic approach to criticize superficiality and materialism in society, while praising acceptance and loyalty. To sum up, this film gives a visually, vocally, and conceptually rich experience that lingers on and on long after the credit roll ends. Highly recommended. The Museum of Wonders gets an 8 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. Go check it out for yourself. The film is available on Amazon, link below. Let me know what you think. Until next time, keep supporting indie film. My name is Asaf Angel. I thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog.